Hey, my narcissistic abuse family. My topic today is so obvious, but I feel like it's never been addressed head on. So I'm going to do it. I'm speaking about why narcissistic parents target their own children. And I'm going to do my best to not be derogatory when I'm speaking of these people, but we know that they deserve to be totally slandered for the unforgivable things that they do and the way they treat their own children. But anyway, I'm speaking about, so when narcissists become parents, I've made several videos, about why they become parents, but they still harbor all of this anger and resentment inside of them. And they're, we know that their strategy for coping with it is just turning it on to everyone around them, including their children. So misery loves company. And what they do is they try to flick off anyone around them that has anything desirable going on in their life so that they don't feel threatened, so that they don't feel inferior in comparison. So when narcissists, the ironic part again, is that narcissists in romantic relationships particularly love to surround themselves with people that they admire people that they want to emulate themselves. And this way, when they take that person down, it's like a big victory for them because see, they're not so great. Like I made them miserable. That makes me more powerful. That's their twisted delusional mentality. Back to narc parents. Narcissistic parents are so miserable. And when they have children, which they should not be allowed to do, but that's another story. Um, I was the black sheep. I was the black sheep for the entire duration of my dealings with those people. So basically, I was the one that was going out and having fun and living my best life and doing great stuff. And for whatever reason, I feel like this is the same story for both of these people. So the mother was the primary narcissist. The father is the enabler, inverted narcissist. But I feel like the story is the same for both of them. They have, at their core, as we have established, narcissists are fragile. They are so fragile and feeble and they cannot stand any type of criticism or threat to their facade whatsoever. And I see this in several different narcissists I've known in my lifetime, but they will always compete essentially. They're they're never happy. They're always trying to bolster their reputations or they're trying to sell their story to everyone around them because they seek all of their self-confidence, their self-awareness from external resources. So by impressing other people or getting other people to buy their BS story, it's a way for them to feel accomplished to feel good about themselves and yes it's fleeting it doesn't last a long time that's why they go through supply quicker than toilet paper I don't know they they're always eager to get new supply they're always eager to impress new audiences so what I have noticed about both the male and the female parents is that I feel like both of them for whatever reason 
Maybe they missed out on their childhoods or their young lives or whatever, but they certainly did not live the lives that I guess in their minds they wanted to have or that they thought they should have. So they're miserable, they have miserable lives and they see their children and they're like, oh, you have so much potential. You're so young and fabulous because the black sheep always are. And that's why they really latch on to you and seek to take you down. And I, I think back to so many circumstances from my young life. And I can absolutely appreciate their envy and their jealousy. I went on awesome vacations. I went to Ireland, which was awesome. I went to Malibu. I stayed in an insane, amazing house thanks to my friend Jana. And I played sports and I was dang good at volleyball. And I was really good at soccer when I was younger. I took a little break from that because it was just too invasive in my life, but Frigo, I played volleyball in college, and I speak about this with my husband, like none of them, they never came to see my games, and my husband's mom was always there videotaping every single football game that he played. He is able to go back and watch this stuff. I don't have that, nobody cared, nobody gave a flying flip about what I was doing. I, when I was in school, in high school, middle school, I was on the student council. I was in advanced placement, everything. I had awesome friends. When I was in college, I joined my sorority. I, I had an awesome job when I was young. I could go on about how great I am, I guess, but my point being is that the narcs parent and as well as the golden boy because he it was like team dysfunction against black sheep over here and it was like they they clung to one another in all of their misery and they just channeled it all into being mean to me and trying to hurt me and to be malicious and I always had boyfriends and they hated that because narcissists cannot form genuine, loving, meaningful, authentic connections with anyone. So even with friendships, they were like, oh no, this is not happening because they couldn't stand to see me happy. And even now in my adult life, even when we went through the tragedy that we went through with my son, Joey back there with the brain cancer, it was absolutely agonizing and grueling and no one, I would never wish that on my worst enemy. But even at that time, these people are, think about how miserable someone needs to be to come down on you during the most painful, awful, devastating time in your life and me being in a wheelchair and they still essentially hate me and they're still envious and jealous of me because ultimately I am so happy. I am so blessed and I'm so great. And so I guess it was like an inverse proportionate thing. Like as miserable as the time was that we were going through, it's like, I realized and started, I always appreciated and was grateful for my blessings, my husband, our beautiful children, this beautiful life that we share, the honor of being Joey's mom and dad, Joey. And we were just always, we never forgot that. I was, I've always been appreciative and grateful of this, the beautiful blessings in my life. And the narcs don't see life like that. They view everyone as an adversary, as competition, and 
their whole life is just a gross injustice. They can't conceive of why they're not larger than life and why they don't have all the material things that they could possibly desire in the world because they're materialistic and superficial as hell as well. And that's why they'll never be happy because true happiness is love and connections and genuine appreciation for other people and narcissists will never do that. So the point of my whole video is that narcissistic parents and the flying monkey, golden child, whatever, whoever teams up against the black sheep, they're envious, they're jealous, and they're sad, pathetic people. And our best lives, we just need to keep living them and put them in the dust way behind us because our lives are so much better without these terrible, malicious people trying to take us down. Um, that's it. I hope I gave you guys some validation, some useful takeaway from this video. Please like, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I don't even say that the way that I should. But anyway, I love you all. Thank you for watching. See you guys soon.